to Jeff Shapiro in the Times Dispatch newsroom, and Virginia is for lovers of political crises. Uh, a big development this morning here in Richmond, the Democratic Attorney General Mark Herring releasing a statement in which he says as a 19-year-old undergrad at the University of Virginia, he attended a party with friends dressed in blackface. This means that Herring is now the third statewide Democratic official touched by scandal in recent days. And of course, it was just last week that Governor Northam, a Democrat, uh, had to answer for a racist photograph that appeared in his page in his medical school yearbook 35 years ago. The lieutenant governor, a Democrat, Justin Fairfax, is now answering for allegations of sexual misconduct, allegations that he has denied. Of course, this has plunged the Democratic Party, the ascendant Democratic Party, into chaos. It could not have come at a worse time for the Democratic Party. All this unfolding in the run-up to make-or-break legislative elections this November. They will decide control of the House and the Senate. Democrats are within three seats of taking back the House, two seats of taking back the Senate. Were they to do so, that paired with control of the statewide offices would mean the Democrats would have total control of Virginia government for the first time in 26 years. Uh, but now, of course, there are mounting calls for the governor to step down. Uh, there is some uncertainty as well about the future of the lieutenant governor who would succeed the governor if there were a vacancy at that level. And now the third ranking official, the attorney general, uh, is touched by controversy, suggesting that perhaps, maybe, and this could be a stretch, uh, there might be vacancies in all statewide offices. This is Jeff Shapiro in the Times-Dispatch Newsroom.